Buzz, the your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. Uh, we're on location at Rec Bar 812 today, reviewing Popeye by Bally Pinball. Please look for our written review underneath the description of our YouTube video. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, plunger to bonus spinner. You can do your light lock and so forth. Left ramp will exit right habit trail, right in lane. You got a scoop lock to Bluto to the center. And as you can see, the DMD, it says ball one lock. You have a orbit around the play field. The area where we went in light blue dough is a, is a kick out, which goes move sweet pea. Next is your right habit troll, right in lane. Left lane with loop on it goes to your columns as well as your pop buffers to the middle, which is your under play field. This game is kind of unique, obviously, in the way that it has an upper play field for flippers. Flipper gap's not too bad, and of course you have your in-lane traditional layout, in-lane left, right, exit lane left, right. As you notice there with that shot, use flippers to select rewards, so we'll go ahead and select light lock. Kicks out to your upper play field. It's got a ramp that shoots out to your left, which you can come down and you can kick that out to the animal of your choice for a bonus. It's not too bad. Play field art is what you would expect from Popeye. Call outs are Popeye, but obviously they could be better. There could be more of them. And this game really more or less struggles in my mind with the fact that most of the play field is blocked. You cannot see really where the ball is going. That's a, that's a con in my book. However, it is set up pretty, you know, you got a lot to shoot at actually on this game. It is blocked to the middle, obviously with Bluto blocking the center. And then of course you got to get your shots wide to the left or the right in order to be able to score. Theme is Popeye. If you're a fan of Popeye, the Sailor Man, you're gonna love this game. Still not a bad game for its time and also its age. It's actually not a bad play. It is a average play in our in our mind. Fun factor of Popeye, I mean, really, there's not a lot of games that are set up like this. So, I mean, if you like kind of the uh, the thought process that goes into your mind of not being able to see where your ball goes, this is it. It kind of leaves a little bit of mystery to where you think you're going to go. Fun factor is average. Music is almost non-existent. You have some small music medleys that are in here. That's about it, small call outs. All of that could be better, but of course, you know, for the day and the age that this game was made, uh, it, it does pretty good with what it has. There's the orbit, there's the orbit again. Going into lock fight Pluto. And of course, that kick out goes to your right habit trail, right in lane. So your upper play field will also exit right left, obviously, right habit trail, right in lane, or it'll exit out to the animal characters, which are bonuses to your left in lane. Ball speed's not too, not too bad on this. It's just average, it's not super fast or anything. You know, if you're young or old, you can play this game and have quite a bit of control over it. Go ahead and select Spot Eye here. Right down the middle. Anyway, replayability on this game is not too bad. Uh, all in all, what we rate this thing? Hmm, I'd probably say this is an average game at most. So average to us is an eight and a half. Uh, below average is below that and above average is above that But beyond that. Yeah, we're gonna rate this an 8.5. We're gonna stick to that anyway Thank you again for watching. Please like and follow us on our social media formats until next time your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy signing off Thank you again for watching